Since April of 2021, there have been increasing reports of myocarditis, pericarditis among recipients of the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines manufactured by Pfizer and Moderna in the United States. Here is a summary of the CDC's report detailing cases of myocarditis, pericarditis through May the 31st, 2021. A total of 789 cases of suspected myocarditis, pericarditis have been reported after both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, with more cases reported after the second dose of vaccination. Most cases occurred within a few days after mRNA vaccination. Cases have been predominantly seen in young males, especially after the second dose. After the second dose of mRNA vaccines, 79 cases of suspected myocarditis, pericarditis were reported in teens 16 and 17 years old. Ordinarily, you would expect to see 2 to 19 cases in this age group. 196 suspected cases after second dose of mRNA vaccination were reported among young adults ages 18 to 24. This is higher than the expected number of cases of myocarditis, which is between 8 and 83 for this age group. It is worth to note that myocarditis, pericarditis in young people ages 12 to 24 years old make up about 53% of the total cases after the second dose of mRNA vaccination. However, this group of young people only received about 9% of the total doses of vaccines administered. This suggests that myocarditis, pericarditis more likely affects young people ages 12 to 24 after mRNA vaccination. Here, I will briefly describe what myocarditis and pericarditis are. Myocarditis is an inflammation of the heart muscle which can weaken the heart muscle and damage the heart's electrical system. The incidence of myocarditis is about 10 to 20 per 100,000 people in the United States annually and most often affects people between puberty and early 30s. It also occurs in males twice as often as in females. Viral infections, including COVID-19 infection, are a leading cause of myocarditis. Signs and symptoms of myocarditis are chest pain, abnormal heartbeat, shortness of breath, fatigue, leg swelling, etc. Many patients recover fully with or without treatment. Severe myocarditis can lead to heart failure, arrhythmia, heart attack, stroke, and sudden death. There is a 10 to 15% chance that myocarditis can recur. Pericarditis is an inflammation of the pericardium, which is a sac-like structure with two thin layers of tissue surrounding the heart. It provides lubrication for the heart, shields the heart from infection and malignancy, and keeps the heart functioning efficiently. It is often related to myocarditis and has similar causes to those of myocarditis. Pericarditis is most common in men ages 16 to 65. Signs and symptoms of pericarditis include chest pain, shortness of breath, the pain is sharp and stabbing. Other symptoms include a dry cough, anxiety, fatigue, weakness, leg swelling, dizziness. There can be a rapid fluid buildup in the space between the pericardium, which can cause a sudden drop in blood pressure. This is called cardiac tamponade, which is life-threatening and requires immediate drainage of the fluid. Diagnostic tests are similar to those for myocarditis. About 15 to 30 percent of patients have recurrent episodes of pericarditis. Fortunately, most people fully recovered from myocarditis, pericarditis after receiving mRNA vaccines. As of May 31, 2021, among 285 cases with a known outcome, 270 patients were discharged, most to their homes. About 81% have made a full recovery, and the rest 
had ongoing symptoms or unknown status. Fifteen were still hospitalized, including three in intensive care units. Per CDC's briefing on June the 17th, 2021, over 20 million adolescents and young adults have been vaccinated in the United States. More than 300 cases of heart inflammation after COVID-19 vaccination have been reported in young people. The cases are believed to be rare. The CDC, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American Heart Association all recommend that everyone 12 years and older get vaccinated against COVID-19. They all believe that the benefits of receiving the vaccine outweighs the risks. Unvaccinated people are susceptible to COVID-19 infection, especially with the emerging coronavirus Delta variant in the United States. If infected with COVID-19, people are at much higher risk of developing myocarditis. About three weeks ago, a research article was published in JAMA Cardiology. The authors gathered data from March the 1st, 2020 through December the 15th, 2020 on athletes from 13 Big Ten universities. Nearly 1,600 athletes who were tested positive for COVID-19 underwent cardiac MRI. 37, or 2.3 percent of them, were confirmed to have myocarditis. Most of them are men. 9, or 0.56 percent of the athletes had symptoms of myocarditis. This incidence of myocarditis from COVID infection is much higher than the incidence of myocarditis from mRNA vaccination. Currently, the causal relationship between mRNA vaccines and myocarditis pericarditis has not been definitively confirmed. This table from the CDC suggested that teenagers and younger adults were more likely to have myocarditis pericarditis after receiving the second mRNA vaccination. In addition, the incidence of myocarditis pericarditis was higher among people who had the Moderna vaccine as compared to the recipients of the Pfizer vaccine. It is possible that the mRNA itself can somehow trigger the inflammation of the heart. Each dose of the Moderna vaccine contains 100 microgram of mRNA. In contrast, each dose of the Pfizer vaccine contains only 30 microgram of mRNA. The incidence of myocarditis and pericarditis may be correlated to the dose of the mRNA. Based on the above information, although preliminary, I suggest people under the age of 30 get the first dose of Pfizer vaccine as soon as possible to obtain immunity against COVID-19 infection. A study of health workers by the CDC demonstrated that one dose of mRNA vaccine was 80% effective in preventing COVID-19 infection. Some experts believe that delaying the administration of the second dose of mRNA vaccine may decrease the risk of myocarditis. You should consult your physician to see if you could wait for 8 to 12 weeks before getting the second shot. To minimize the risk of myocarditis, chemical modification of the mRNA and reducing the dose of mRNA in the vaccines may be considered in the future. Although the incidence of myocarditis pericarditis after mRNA vaccination is rare, you should still be vigilant about the symptoms of myocarditis pericarditis after receiving the mRNA vaccine. If you or your children experience any of the following symptoms within one week after vaccination, you should seek immediate medical evaluation.